What's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Fallout 4 PS5 edition. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's play. Ain't no one's a slave that don't want to be. Nope. Just crap. Finish Mason. There's no way I'm letting Raiders take over. The pack lets it all hang out. Oh my, oh nah. Got a chase. Watching humans get ripped apart by animals and mutants for sport. How's it hanging? Boss, I got something that requires your attention. I think you're confusing me with someone who gives a shit. Fine, I got plenty of wolves that want to earn their meat. Okay. Anybody else? He's turned on us. Oh no! He's run him up. For the gauge, no more. I do like that armor. Did that thing say zero? What the heck? That thing says zero. Forty five pounds, bro. Gotta drop this off. Pack automatic, right? Impacts I can get. He just goes face first into the table. Out cold. The heavy dog arm. I do the dog meat. You guys are free to go.
free to go. be in power armor when you do this. <laughs> Unless you got something like godlike build, OP build. Still, I mean, you have every single person on the map <laughs> over here on the island is going to come after you. to her. It'd be smart not to talk to her. I, I want to ask take her out and then we ruin the side quest. Or ruin this quest. It'd be like a ghost town. I should have had the EXO. What's in the dressing room? Operator's glasses, operator's left. 
Man, we can come in here and load up. Definitely coming back here and loading up. Surprised this dude isn't like. Oh my gosh, he's run amok! It's just in. Oh, we've already seen this. Tested. Get out. <laughs> You're dead. Basically, this this would be suited for the player who's uh, if you're like a raider, the bad guy. Perfect DLC, but I'm not. I'm the good guy. Don't like raiders. <laughs> See, I've never played Nuka World. I've seen footage on it, but that was like nine years ago. <laughs> so, so it was like when I when when I first started this, I was like, wait a minute. Then it's like, oh, they're going to have you raid settlements, the very settlements that, we're own, that we own. It's like, uh, screw that. Part of the dressing room pizza. I mean, is that it? I've already, the door was already open, but let's see if that's the one. This might be the dressing room. Quartz. Oh wait, no, here. Mother, it's Mags. Mother, it's Mags. Thank you so much for your tape. It kept William, Lizzie, and I very entertained during our time in the holding cell. We found the part about refusing us our inheritance particularly amusing. Because that money is ours. Years we spent under your thumb, trying to be the perfect little dolls you always wanted. Both have the scars to prove it. So if you think we didn't earn every cap that's due to us, then you're even dumber than I thought. Yes. Yes. Taken by raiders at a young age, believes deeply in the power. I should have looked at this first. That would be like a, a synopsis of the, the gang leaders. Well, it's too late now because we're taking them out. <laughs> Okay, taken by Razor and believes deeply in the power of violence, makes her a dangerous adversary. That said, has a penchant for justice among her own. Stole gang from previous leader by gaining their respect. So basically, she created like a, a uprising within the gang, like a re like a, a rebel, by gaining their respect rather than through graft or deception. Oh wait, no, no, no. Because if she did an uproar, that would be graft or deception. So she just gained their respect and decide. And they decided, well, we'd rather have her leader and excommunicado the other one. Irrationally, hard to exploit people like that. I mean, irritatingly. Ultimately, acts as a stabilizing agent among the disciples. It means Nisha's place in the hierarchy should not be tampered with. Dull, but the right move. Any other disciple in that role would likely lead to utter havoc. Dixie springs to mind. True Psychopath. Clever, devious, bloodthirsty. Suspect she's responsible for the death of at least three operators since our arrival. Very likely more. Takes and treasures souvenirs from her victims. Someone meddling with her toys might be able to get her to do something rash. Should need, should the need arise. 
granted her current position by Nisha. Probably to support the girl's vanity, much less likely to turn on her boss if she thinks she's respected. Thanks to that, she does seem to honor Nisha's authority, doesn't appear to have plans to claim leadership for herself. Best of all, <laughs> best for all of us, it stays that way. Savoy. Nisha's enforcer, fiercely loyal, likely the only reason the man's been given a place of prominence among their little coven. Had one of our girls attempt to seduce him, see if we might be able to sway him as a contact, but to no avail. Had one of the boys try too, similar results. Suspect, suspect he's probably working for, slash with the only person he has eyes for. Would explain the loyalty. Mason. Current Pack Alpha displaced his two predecessors by tearing and what? Tearing and feathering them, sending them out to the wastes. Pack Law states members can only shame one another, never kill. Both former Alphas were never heard from again after being given the boot. Acquiring proof of their deaths could be useful leverage. We'll send out a search party to see what they can turn up. Huh, otherwise, man's more nuisance than threat. Like the rest of the pack, Gage, unaffiliated. One half of the alleged masterminds behind the Nuka World plan. Clearly as much of a rube as the rest of us. It does seem like he honestly believed in Coulter now. Now though, it just seems worried he's going to share Coulter's fate if things don't get back on track. Not wrong, undoubtedly moved on this new overboss to protect his own neck. However, man genuinely does appear to believe that Nuka World can be used to make us all rich. So does, so does have some value. Colter, idiot. What? No one's problem anymore. Maggie, it's your mother. I want you to know your father and I, we take no pleasure in this decision. But at this point, we don't have a choice. You and Bill have dragged the black name through the muck for the last time. What they say you two and that Wyeth girl did to those classmates of yours. True or not, defending you both again and again. It's gotten to the point we can barely do business in this town anymore. You two have cost us so much. And are you repentant? Are you sorry? Of course not. Well. We are through defending you. You're going to accept the exile the town demands. You're going to leave Diamond City for good. And you will never, ever see another cap from your father or I again. You had every chance in the world to make this right, Maggie. Well, we are done giving you chances. Wow. <laughs> hmm. I kind of, I feel like I kind of jumped the gun now. I didn't think about it. I should have probably talked to him first after clearing out and giving their gangs the spots. I probably should have talked to the leaders to see if they would have given me anything. Mason had a job or something. I probably should have, yeah. I don't know. Probably acted a little too. But oh well, no going back now. It's like I said, Porter Gage turned on me too. Disciples. There's only one left. Need some more electromagnetic rounds. Fizz Top Mountain.
Oh, there it is. too much and cannot run. Buff jet. Uh, it's gonna be like an hour to get up there if I. Uh well, I mean, I have a choice to take that, but to take the. Oh. That's something that gives you carry. What was it? It was a nuke or something. Getting ish done. Now, this one if you said he is getting ish done. I mean, I Got that right. Blame him. It happens to me all the time. People just get upset that they ain't as cool. Anyway, he's this really big guy. I mean, huge guy, actually. Uh, I don't remember his name. Doesn't matter. Shut up. So this big idiot decides he's going to challenge me to a drinking contest. Guess he figures he'll make me look like a fool in front of all the nice folks in the combat zone. So he Damage 120. Comes up to my table, tells me he can drink That's more than the shish kebab. I'm like, the hell you can try me. So everybody gathers round because it's clear this is going to be the coolest thing that happens all night. And we just go at it. Just shot after shot after shot. Now, the whole time, he's talking shit about me. I mean, telling me I'm going to lose, telling me that I'm a piece of shit, you know, all this stuff. And I'm just laughing. I'm laughing, I'm taking my shot. I'm so drunk, and I mean so drunk. Later on, people were like, man, you are so amazing. Gotta walk real slow. I 
like that armor, but it's too heavy. I could carry it like this, huh? I could carry it like this. Oh my goodness, the Dixie was just crazy. Oh, this is hers? Oh my. She might have a password on her. I might as well just give it up. I'm right here. There we go. Tijuana. Ruby. Rumors are saying Ruby's stealing from her own. Not sure what pisses me off more. That she's stealing from us. Or that she's got caught. Either way, I don't have any proof besides Paige's claim. And Paige was probably too high on Jet to trust. All right. Going to let this sit for now. Let's see how it goes. Josie. Savoy found the remains of what looks like Josie's handiwork. I have one rule here. People. Why is it so darn hard to follow? If you hide a body, not only do you make sure it's hidden, you make sure it re it's really dead. Savoy said the pack guy was halfway back to Nukatown when he found it. No solid proof that it was Josie besides the fact that she and this guy got into it the other day. Samuel. Samuel seems to forget who's in charge here and likes to question my decisions. He's smart enough not to challenge me directly, and I'm sure he knows if he tried to take me out, Savoy and Dixie would never follow him. He's trouble though, reminds me of Sledge, and, <laughs> and he's new, so he doesn't know what went down back then. But if he keeps it up, he can learn the hard way, just like Sledge did. So is that Sledge's head in her, her and, and, and body in her, her quarters there? On watch for a different reason. Curry has a bit of a conscience. Stop going on raids. Barely leaves fist top. Something's up with her. She's either realized this isn't the life for her, or she's been compromised. And if I find out she's turned traitor, I'm going to enjoy every moment I have tearing her apart. Town remains. Remains of an old abandoned town south of Nuka Road called Bradbury. Should be good for standard supplies, but nothing of real interest. Herbologists. Val, Val said some crazies calling them, call themselves herbologists have taken over the old cafe by the giant fire hydrant. I've got to admit, I'm inclined to leave them be. Fanatics are always destructive in their own ways. They could be good entertainment from a distance. Grand Chester. Dixie found an old roadside attraction called the Grand Chester Mystery Mansion. Said it looks to be in decent condition, complete with an annoying, with an annoying ticket-taking protection, protectron. So it's worth looking into it. She had a few slaves in tow, so didn't investigate further. We'll need to put a team together to check out, check it out at some point. Grand Chester, huh? 
Okay. Got to be a few more episodes. Check out some of these attractions. I almost forgot. some stranger in a mask told us. <laughs> sure you're not some sort of raider? I ain't no raider. And I only wear this mask on account of some Yao Guai wanting a piece of me a while back. It's up to you folks. If y'all are interested, Nuke World's just a short trip north. Can't miss it. Just tell them Dixie sent you, and they'll treat you and yours like y'all are family. Hmm. We'll talk about it. Thanks for stopping by. Maybe we'll have to check out this Nuka World outpost before heading back. It'd be worth a shot. I'll have to talk with the others, and hope no fights break out this time. Freaking heavy. I need to make some more buff out or grab some more buff out or something. Oh, they're disappearing. <laughs> Oh, 
three more. Dr. Bridgman. Boss, I, I can't believe it. You killed the Raiders. All of them. I have to ask, why? You and the other traitors were being treated like slaves. I had to put an end to it. Well, you certainly did that. I've thought about this day for a long time. Dreamed about it, really. Though I never thought I'd see that dream come true. Now that it has, I'm left with a question that I don't know the answer to. What happens next? Anything you want. What do you want to happen? I think we should keep this place going, like the way it used to be. Only now, we can use the money we bring in to make our lives better. Exactly. Before you go, there's one last thing I need to say. Thank you. Sincerely, from all of us. Thank you. Wherever the road takes you, know that you'll always be welcomed back here in Nuka World. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to figure out a way to safely remove these collars. Mackenzie. How are you feeling? I can take care of any sickness or injuries you might have. Catch me up, Doc. All right, let's... Uh-huh. Actually, never mind, Doc. Fine, come back later. And I'm gonna stop here for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and see if you grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.